Hey everyone, welcome back to another Software Developer Profile Review. My name's David Roberts. I'm a software developer who's also run recruitment teams. And I want to show you how recruitment really works and why you might not be getting the attention you deserve and how to stand out in tech. Um, so, without further ado, let's get on with it. Today, we're looking at the profile of Kieran. And Kieran, I may be saying your name wrong, by the way, and I do apologize for that. Um, Kieran describes herself as a full stack developer. It was Pern stack, if I remember, looking at the request. Um, if, if, by the way, if anyone else wants to have a profile review, there's a form on my website, uh, crushing.digital, and it's free. Just fill in the form and it, you'll join the queue and I'll, I'll review your profile as soon as possible. Uh, it was Pern stack for Kieran, Postgres, Express, React, Node. Great, so here we go. Uh, first things first, we're all going to notice it. There's no banner image. We could use that space um, to re really confirm the tech. No profile picture. No profile picture. Sadly, this creates fear or um, and, and people are reluctant to move forward with developers without uh, a profile picture. I'm not saying I agree with this. I'm just saying it's the way it is. Um, so. Uh, you can greatly increase your chances just by putting a, uh, a picture of you up there. Um, it doesn't need to be anything groundbreaking, just, you know, you're a nice human being. So I would definitely recommend changing the banner image and changing the profile picture. Then the next part, full stack developer, HTML, JavaScript, CSS. As soon as I see HTML and CSS, I immediately think junior, which I'm, I'm guessing you are, we haven't got that far yet, but... Um, it tends to be more senior developers will just take HTML and CSS almost as a given, even though you can be much better than other people at CSS. You know, there's a, a rabbit hole to go down there. But um, I would be focusing on what you want to be found for. So I'd be focusing on that Pern stack um, list, you know, list those out instead of the HTML, JavaScript, CSS. I'd go with Postgres, Express, React, Node. Um, but then we move down to the About section. I recently completed a coding traineeship as a full stack developer, gaining valuable experience in programming. Again, this is all light. It's not It's not uh, helping build confidence for the recruiter. It's almost like telling them the things that they might want to filter you out for, even though you passing a boot camp is a great thing. It's not really about the fact that you passed a boot camp. So for a lot of people, now it's gonna be about what are you doing with that knowledge? How are you applying it and moving on to the next stage? Uh, so you develop strong leadership skills. Anytime I see develop strong leadership skills, communication skills, I'm passionate about this and all these light phrases, I just think, I don't believe you. And I'm not saying that to hurt you. I'm saying, okay, it's on you to now prove, okay, show me. How, how, how are you uh, a great leader? How are you a great communicator? Etc. Uh, top skills, great. It's exactly what we were uh, saying you did. So I get down to the education. I'm looking, education's PHP. Okay, that, that differs from what we said before. So I'm wondering, do we have the same skills that we mentioned? PHP, Java, Python, C Sharp. Okay, this is different to what I was thinking. So I'm, as a recruiter, do I go into an interview to, for you to tell me, oh no, I'm actually a PHP developer or a Java developer or a Python, in which case it's a waste of my time. Um, and it, it's the only way to find out, but recruiters are nervous about spending time with someone if they don't think it's going to be fruitful because uh, recruitment is a speed game. So that makes people nervous. Um, you've learned Java, learn C Sharp, it's, uh, there's PHP here, it's it's all pointing in the wrong direction currently. It's, it's not bad to have multiple different technologies, but if you've said I do, uh, you know, Node, Express, that sort of thing, I want to see progress, I want to see proactivity in how you're applying that. Uh, so let's go for supporting evidence. At this stage, I, I might be skipping it uh, if I was a recruiter. So, okay, we'll go to the personal website. I'm hoping I can get further links from there, but let's look at your activity. What are you talking about all day, every day? It's been a while since I talked. Okay, so you mentioned in person, I'm deep diving into it, but this is only a week ago. So this will be great in time. Uh, I'm 
this should be turned into like a series of posts about what you're actually learning, how you're applying that. Um, I'm happy to share I've obtained a certificate. Um, it doesn't really help me at this stage. Uh, as of yesterday, they signed me off for this. Again, it doesn't mean anything to me. What else is there? There's nothing really moving this story forward. I'm not sure what you're doing. Uh, learning C Sharp, learning Java, learning PHP, um, and all of these are six months ago. So I I'm starting to wonder, learning Python, you know, how, how much time have you spent in each one of these? I'd rather see some level of depth going on. But let's move across to the personal website. So looks nice. I'm carrying, I'm self-motivated. Doing what? Um, I'm a developer. Doing what? Um, I'm hardworking. Okay, doing what? Um, I'm dedicated. It's not helping me with this story. So if I move down here, you say your focus is Pern, but I, I haven't seen any um, examples of that. This is the profile picture you should be using on your LinkedIn page. So, okay, skills, C Sharp, JavaScript. No, this way, okay, some of that stuff's there, but PHP, Python, C Sharp, Java, it's very scattered. I'm not, I'm not sure where the depth is going to come into this. Uh, and why you know you're saying you're a, um, a node developer I'm not seeing the concentration on that projects projects are great oh, I'd, I'd like to see these turned into a series of posts for each one um, so there's not much more to push me in that direction so if I went oh you've got github up here okay let's open github now I want to see the focus really coming forward now no profile picture the bio again is vague doesn't really help me with what you want to do uh if i move this out of the way so i can get to linkedin that's great what are the repos javascript but i don't know as a as a recruiter i don't know what you're doing there i don't know what technologies are being used underneath that this is a forked repo in javascript so it doesn't help me so there's nothing pinned i think these are the only two repos so all of those things you've learned php java c sharp you're doing node right now you're saying and you're deep diving where is the evidence of it because at the minute i can't see how you're actually applying this and that's what makes me nervous as a recruiter so i at this point i'd be inclined to skip it and go find somebody else who's being more uh, efficient in delivering that message to me so i'm not trying to be too harsh here I'm, well i am i'm trying i'm trying to show it but I, I don't mean to be harsh to you I'm just trying to show you why a recruiter might feel nervous at this stage and move on. Uh, I hope that's been informative. Let me know if you've got any questions. And if anyone else would like a profile review, like I said, there's a link on my website, crushing.digital. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.